video and boy do I have some exciting news for you all. As you guys can tell by the title, of course, I'm going to be giving you guys the new weekly updates on markdowns that are going to be happening at our Dollar General stores for the week as well as the new penny list items for the week. And there are tons and tons of penny items so you guys stay tuned. All right, so as always, we're going to start out with the new markdowns for the week. There is only one new markdown that is going to be occurring at our Dollar General stores starting on Monday, November the 1st. Pay attention to the fact that I said this markdown is going to be happening on Monday, November the 1st, instead of on Tuesday. Of course, we've got the Halloween candy and Halloween merchandise marking down the date after the holiday. So that is going to be on Monday, November the 1st. So starting on Monday, November the 1st, all of the Halloween candy or remaining Halloween candy in our Dollar General stores will be marking down to 25% off. And then all of the other Halloween merchandise will be marking down to 50% off. So we've got the Halloween seasonal items, Halloween party items, Halloween apparel and socks, all marking down to 50% off at our Dollar General stores. On Monday, November the 1st, and that is the only new update we have for the week, is the Halloween merchandise marking down to 25 and 50% off. There are no other markdowns for the week, not even for Tuesday, November the 2nd, but we do have tons of items that are set to penny out at our Dollar General stores. As a matter of fact, we have three different memos of items that are set to penny out at our Dollar General stores on Tuesday, November the 2nd. So let's get on into it. All right, so the, for the first list of items that are set to penny out at our Dollar General stores, this is going to be a Your Miles May Vary penny list because it states at the top of the memo here that this project is for specific stores and I have no way of determining what stores these items are set to penny out at. So I'm just going to let you guys know up front, this is going to be Your Miles May Vary. You need to be on the lookout for these items when you are out shopping at your Dollar General stores on Tuesday because I know that you guys are going to be out looking for penny items on Tuesday because there are tons and tons of penny items for the week. These are the first three items that I'm telling you guys about. We've got two Betty Crocker cake mixes as well as a Betty Crocker brownie mix. I do have an image with all three of these items on there with the UPC codes and sizes for each one of those items so that you guys will be on the lookout for them. And if you run across these in any of your Dollar General stores, be sure to price check these to ensure that they are ringing up a penny because these items may be ringing up a penny at one store and not ringing up a penny at the next store that you go to. So be sure to check these in every store that you go in and be sure to update your store whenever you move from store to store in your Dollar General couponing app. It will usually pop up on the screen whenever you are in a new store. It will detect your location and notice that you have changed stores and it will allow you to update what store you're in so that you will get an accurate price for whatever Dollar General store you're in. All right, and then the second list of items that we have set to penny out at our Dollar General stores on Tuesday, November the 2nd, are once again some more food items. And I'm going to say that this is going to be a Your Miles May Vary list once again, at least for the first eight items on the list, because the first eight items are not sold in every Dollar General store, but all of the remaining items from the Pillsbury Funfetti Cake Mix down all of those items are sold in any old regular Dollar General store and you guys should be able to find those in your store's last chance clearance section if they have any of these items remaining in their stores. But like I said, the first eight items on the list are going to be your miles may vary. I've never seen most of any of those items sold in any of the Dollar General stores near me. So if your stores have like a healthy food option with like organic foods or things like that, you're more than likely going to find these items in your Dollar General stores because they were probably sold at that location. And of course, I do have pictures of all of the items on this list. I'm going to let you guys go on and look at those right now.
All right, so that is the second list of items that we have set to penny out at our Dollar General stores on Tuesday, November the 2nd. Please be sure to price check these items if you run across any of them to make sure that these items are ringing up a penny before you take them to the register for purchase. And please keep in mind that if any of these food items are out of date, the Dollar General store employees can refuse to sell you these items, even though they are a penny. With these items being expired, they can refuse to sell you those items because obviously they wouldn't want to sell you any expired products within their store, no matter if they're a penny or if they were regular priced items. All right, and for the third and final and biggest penny list of the week, starting on Tuesday, November the 2nd, we have all of the seasonal merchandise set to penny out in our Dollar General stores. I do, however, want to point out that the memo I have for you guys today does state at the top that this project is for NCI stores, but I am willing to bet that more than likely all of these seasonal merchandise items on this memo will penny out at all Dollar General stores. But if you do go into a regular Dollar General stores and these items are not a penny, have no fear, these items will eventually penny out in our Dollar General stores. The other thing that I wanted to point out with this here, it's going to be a little tricky with these items, is that the memo states that between 11.2 and 11.5, the Dollar General store employees are to complete the product recovery process of these items. So that means that these items may not penny out on Tuesday November the 2nd. I also did notice that on this memo, it does not state that these items are going to MOS. It just says that there is a PRP event for the Dollar General employees to recover all of the product. On this memo here, it doesn't specifically state that these are MOS items, which means that they are going to mark out of stock, aka penny out. See, like with the um, last memo that I showed you guys, it did state down here at the bottom that these were going to MOS. So that means that the items are going to mark out of stock, aka they are going to penny out in our Dollar General stores. So just keep that in mind whenever you are going out looking for any of these items. Of course, be sure to price check any and all of the items that I have mentioned to you guys in today's video. I do, however, know that at the bottom of the memo here, it does state that all of these items must be packed and ready to return to the DC by 11.5. And then it says that these items will return to full price immediately after the PRP event. So after November the 5th, all of these items here will return to their normal price. So this is going to be four days of opportunity to purchase these items for a penny because after November the 5th, these items will go back to their regular price. All right, so now let's talk over all of the items that are included on this memo here. So the first category of items are the white dot apparel shoes and accessories, then the yellow dot apparel shoes and accessories, the NCI clover apparel items, which include the pink clover, yellow clover, and orange clover items, green dot home, back to school stationery, spring and stationery party items, um, July 4th seasonal and patriotic party, the Australian gold sun care items, swim and summer toys, so those are going to be items with pink squares on the tag, the beach towels, and lawn and garden items. And it does have a long list of what all items are included in that lawn and garden. Mark down and it does state that there are select soft side coolers, select patriotic items, planners, watering, Lawn decor, lawn tools, grill accessories, select yard care items, solar and lighting, bird feeders, wind chimes, fencing, and select citronella items. And then there is also a list of excluded items here. These items will definitely not be a penny. So that's the Wacky Noodle Junior Mega Wacky Noodles, the Lawn Furniture American Flags, Weed and Bug Sprays, Miracle Grow 7 Repel Granules, the Citronella Fuel and Bite Fighter and then the Yellow Dot or White Dot Flip Flops will not penny out at our Dollar General stores. All right, so we do have the three list of items set to penny out at our Dollar General stores, but these are all going to be really tricky because, like I said, with this list here with these seasonal items, we've got a week-long period that these items may penny out during. They may not penny out on Tuesday, November the 2nd. It could be the 3rd, 4th, or the 5th before these items do penny out in our Dollar General stores. But after November the 5th, these items will go back to their regular price. So if you guys do find any of these items in your Dollar General store, starting on Tuesday, 
November the 2nd, please be sure to price check those items. If you have purchased um, some of these items already, a dead giveaway would to be just to price check those items that you already have purchased at your home. So if you have some white dot apparel or yellow dot apparel that you haven't took the tags off of, you can simply price check those items in your home before you leave going out to any of the Dollar General stores to make sure that these items are ringing up a penny at the Dollar General stores near you before you leave your house and waste your time going out hunting for these items. All right, so this list of items is going to be a little tricky simply because the memo states that this project is for NCI stores and second because we do have a four day period, but I believe it's more so that they are giving the Dollar General employees from November the 2nd to November the 5th to gather all of these items with it being so many different category items. And of course, these items could be anywhere and all over their stores, especially looking through all of the clothing items to find all of the white dot and yellow dot apparel shoes and accessories. So I believe that it's probably more so leaning towards that they're giving the Dollar General employees a four day period to grab all of these items up to get them packed away to send back. Because I do also have a other another picture that I received on Friday before I went and picked up all of my memos for the week that has on there, it says Effective 11-2 MOS and then it has all of these items here. So that sounds like to me that beginning on Tuesday, November the 2nd, these items are definitely going to penny out in our Dollar General stores. Alright, so that is all that I have for you guys today. I know that there was tons of different information to cover with you all. Just be sure to price check, price check, price check any of these items that you find in your Dollar General stores to make sure that these items are ringing up a penny before you take these items to the register for purchase because this is a super your miles may vary type of penny list that we have even though there are three different lists of items that are set to penny out at our Dollar General stores please be sure to price check any and all of these items to make sure that they are ringing up a penny before you take them to the register for purchase but anyways I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed it please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video